So when you uh, when you first went to the new uh, venue, what did you think of that as compared to the drawbridge? Just you know. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's pretty good. Wow. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It really is. And I just um, when I went to my first convention, it just felt like. It felt like coming home, which I know sounds really stupid, but it really did. Um, because you know, you you're with all of these other ventriloquists, and you're you're they're talking to their figure, and you're talking to your figure, and it's perfectly normal. Because you know as well as I do, Tom, in any other situation, it would not be perfectly normal by any stretch. So I finally kind of found that, like, oh, these are my people. This is good. This this will work, you know. And and I don't have to feel silly about talking about my character because. The only time I talk about my character is when I'm talking to another ventriloquist, um, you know, and because, because otherwise it's kind of silly. So, I, I really enjoy the the conventions. It, it really opened my eyes and it really taught me a lot of things, which is great. Fantastic. Now. Um Let's go to uh, the friendships that you made at the convention. Uh, I know that a lot of people, and I'm going to put you on the spot there, and I'm not, you know, don't worry that I'm going to miss somebody, but uh, I know that every year, you know, I look forward to seeing everybody, but there are certain people that you just kind of hang with and naturally gravitate to. Is there anybody that you've made lifelong friends with uh, as a result of going there? You know, the, um, <laughs> um, lifelong friends, wow. Um <laughs> I, I, or just friends, yeah, <laughs> friends you don't want to um, talk about. <laughs> you know, I, um, someone I always try to. I mean, I'm I'm a little intimidated because these are these are professional ventriloquists, and I always, as kind and generous as they are, I always feel a little um, awkward because I'm not, and I'm not near to their level. And I know you're shaking your head like, oh, it doesn't matter, and I understand that it doesn't. But still, these are like. You know, like Jimmy Nelson is like, wow, he's he's amazing, and and Jeff Dunham, wow, you know, and and Terry Fader, wow, you know, and and I'll tell you, the one person that I feel very comfortable walking up to and just talking to is Ken Groves, is yourself, Ken Groves and Mark Waite. I feel like I could walk up and talk to you about anything, and um, Ken Groves has been spot on every time I've asked him for a piece of advice. Every time, he's just. I, I guess I could be a Ken Groves groupie, but I I just think he is really amazing at what he does, and and I feel very comfortable talking with him, and and I get good tips from him too, which is great. Ken, Ken is a, a very giving guy and a very helpful guy, and uh, and you're right. Maybe we should actually create a Ken Groves groupie club. <laughs> KTG club. There we'll, we go. We'll, we'll get the little Ken Groves masks that you can see through. <laughs> <laughs> and then whenever we're walking around, we'll just hold them up to our face. It will all look like Ken Gross. <laughs> oh, yeah, he'd love that. I know he would. <laughs> oh, he'd, he'd, he'd be offering to sign them. And <laughs> <laughs>